everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, as always, and today is going to be a special one. We're going to be cooking up a 70s soul sample, but for this track, I will be using my grandmother's vocals. Now, these vocals, she recorded, you know, along with my mother and my father in a gospel group about, I want to say, like 20 years ago on their album. So I ended up getting an acapella to all the tracks, so I thought it would be pretty cool and dope to kind of, you know, pay a little tribute to them, especially to my grandmother because she passed away. So I want to go ahead and, you know, utilize her vocals. So I want you guys to sit back and relax, and I hope you all enjoy this beat making video. Let's go. Okay, so the idea for this sample is to build everything around these vocals. So if you look right here on the screen, at the top you see I got addictive drums pulled up, and I got the vintage dry, and this is called the man machine. And then right below it you see I got the vocals. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it together. That kind of gives you an idea of what we got. And as you can see, the vocals right here, it stretches much further out. But right now, I kind of want to just focus on this first half and kind of creating that melody around that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up Addictive Keys 2. I want to use an upright piano for this track to start it off, basically. <laughs> So now I want to go ahead and jump straight into that bass line. For the bass line, I will be using Native Instruments, Rickenbacker Bass, one of my favorite basses to use next to Trillium. Now because the chord progression is pretty simple, I want to make sure I add some flavor to this bass, kind of add that variation to this track instead of just having everything just kind of repeating like a like one big loop. So, so I decided to go ahead and mute the vocals because I want to take the vocals out so I can really just kind of focus on the instrumentation. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. <laughs> can tell at the end of every one I make sure there was a different variation right here right here then at the very end I want to make sure it switched up every single time I didn't want everything to be repeated so for the next step I want to go ahead and add in some background strings probably gonna do like some lead strings also but right now I want to go ahead and just focus on the background strings so for the background strings I got the Roland 5080 put up and they have some very nice strings in here this is called the Saint strings so we simply gonna go ahead and layer that piano which we did earlier with these background strings <laughs> Super soulful sound. So next let's go ahead and add in one of my favorite bells, the Glock bell, and that's in Goliath. I've said this in a lot of my videos, but if this is your first time watching, when I do like these soul records, I love the sound of the bell that comes in Goliath, and that's made by East West. It's simply called a Glock bell. It has a very realistic sound to it, so we're gonna go ahead and use this, and uh, yeah, let's keep this thing moving. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, guys, so let's go ahead and do another layer on this track. This time I want to layer this track with electric piano. And for the electric piano, I love to use Addictive Keys' Mark I. Very beautiful sounding. I mean, just listen to this thing. I mean, that is, that's super soulful. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Sound beautiful. All right, guys, so next I wanna go ahead and wanna add in a guitar. And for the guitar, I will be using Contact Bank called Evolution Hollow Body Blues by Orange Tree Samples. Let's go and lay this down. <laughs> Guys, so for the last instrument, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that lead string. And for the lead string, I'm still using the 5080. I'm gonna kind of arrange this string just a little bit different. I'm gonna have it come in, I wanna say around maybe like the fifth bar, I think. Just kind of like a build up. So the first half, I'm gonna kind of keep it simple. Then I'm gonna kind of do like this little build up. Something like that, just kind of add like a more dramatic effect. So let's go and record this. Like I said, like a little dramatic build up, you know, in the, when the vocal's coming in. All right, guys, so we're at that point in time already where it's time to get this track arranged. I want to make sure there's some switch ups in this track and everything is not just, you know, a plain Jane signing loop. So that's the goal. So anyway, let's hop back into this so you guys can check out what this finished product is going to sound like. Let's go. wraps up this beat making video i do hope you guys enjoyed that you know add my grandmother vocals in there man it made this track super soulful honestly the vocals is what really did it you know what i mean there's no other way to describe it the vocals and then as you guys can tell i added in another piece of the record where everybody is singing in unison you know i'm pressing on like it that breakdown part was crazy, so it was more about arranging with this track, but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you do, because I will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at The Producer's Life, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.